Hi guys, in this video we're going to look at the song by the Beatles, Can't Buy Me Love, what a brilliant tune it is. So without any further ado, let's get started. So the rhythm we're going to use today is we're going to go down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, so it's like... Okay. You can hear that. Generally in this song, that's what it does. Okay, so Indy, are you ready? We're gonna try and get started. So it start the words start before the chord starts. So it's like can't buy me E minor, E minor, E minor, E minor, D minor, G7. And then we're into the verse one, so it's a C7 chord, so it's like, buy you a diamond ring, my friend, if it makes you feel all right. Then it's an F7. C. Then you're gonna go G7. Stop. Money can't buy me love. So into verse two. I give you all I got to give. To an F7 and a C. Then that I don't care to wait. G7. Proper course. Oh, everybody tell me so. Can't buy me. A minor, D minor, and a G. Verse 3. C7 that is, then an F7, and a C, and that G7 where it stops, much for money, G7. Okay, so then there's a guitar solo, so let's have a look at the chords that are underneath that guitar solo. So we've got a C, to the F7, Back to a C, and that G7 stop. Much for money, money. Then the chorus. Oh, everybody tells me so. In the verse four, C7. An F7. And then just a C. Then that bit with the G7 with the break. Don't care to. Money can't buy me love. So then the end, the outro is just a little bit like a chorus. So it's just going um, E minor, A minor, oh, oh, and D minor, G, C. Finish on a C7. And there we go. What a brilliant tune that is. So I hope you found that helpful just to follow through how the song goes. If you need to watch this video again and again, just try and keep up with some of the changes. And generally though, it's not too difficult. If you want to change some of the seven chords just to the major chords, because basically C7 is a C chord with a seventh note on, a G7 is a G chord with a seventh note on. So if you didn't know C7 or you went keen on C7 or a G7, you just play a C, you get away with a C for that, and same with a G, any seventh chords, you just take away the seven and just play the major chord, and you are still, you're not gonna clash, that's still gonna work. It doesn't have as much kind of, you know, color in it as, that, as maybe the seventh note, but it will get you by. So, until next time, from me in Indiana Bones, I'll see you later.